around talk shit with the J2 podcast here we go you know how scared that humans are from being away from their phone you just went to put it there because it was a little out of reach. You're like, nah. So you put it here, bro, instead. It's, it's just good to know, say. You know? That's a strange thing, man. Wow. It's crazy. I almost, I tried setting this thing up on my phone where it was like, I can only be on Facebook. Like a screen for time limit? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I got fucking pissed. Because, like, some days you stay up at night, you get home, and, like, you're like, from like 12 to 1 before I go to bed so then I wake up with like 30 minutes left on my phone I get it. Yep. Dude, that, that shit's an addiction man sometimes I find myself fucking before I know it bro two hours have gone by and all I've done was rotate between Facebook Twitter you know what I'm saying fucking Reddit you use Reddit or no? Uh, you know I don't have an account I, I go there like I find my sometimes I'll be on the internet research and stuff and I find like I go through the wormholes there sometimes yo you know what Reddit is Ant? yeah I know yo my, you know how you can just like um, follow like different subreddits and shit. Yeah, yeah. I just follow anything I'm interested in, bro. So my shit is so diverse, bro. You have like Fortnite clips. You have Walking Dead information. Yeah. Porn. Game of Thrones. Like all the essentials. Porn. Donald Trump news, bro. Like so, you scroll <laughs> through my shit and you'll see like a picture of a you know like a Fortnite character, and then boom, deep throat and black cock. Boom, Game of Thrones and shit. I just <laughs> yo, and I didn't know that uh. I forgot what my Reddit account was like early, and I was chilling here with my boss, and he wanted me to put Apple TV on, like, from my phone, like, screen mirror, whatever you call that, AirPlay, and uh, I just accidentally tapped Reddit, and he saw it. Yeah, he's, that's... Oh, Anyways, yo, people are probably wondering um, who this fine-looking gentleman here is, so before we get into fucking where Jay is and how uh, I had to fire him, just kidding. Um, I'm going to introduce my homie, my boy, my right-hand man that I haven't seen in about seven years. What's going on, um, man? It's Drew, so it is now the J2 Podcast. With Drew. And with Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so uh, he's obviously a good-looking, like, white, a little more trim version of me. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, we laugh together, we bullshit, now that that's out of the way. Um, you were asking me, like, what happened with Jay, the, the dude that used to run it with me? Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, we, we were having a lot of fun. And it just, it didn't work out, I think, mainly because of, um, like, a new job that he got required him to be working super early. And, like, a lot of what we do, you know, we when we have guests and shit, we have people come at, at night. Um, it's more convenient. A lot of people work during the day. But also, you know, we we pop a few drinks, you know, do some drugs, whatever we got to do to enjoy the night and have fun. And it's tough to do that when you're, like, you know, you're, there's a clock ticking in your head knowing that you have, you know... Hey, if I stop now, I only have five hours of sleep and shit right, like that. Right, yeah. I guess so, when you're like, when you have these other uh, obligations, you don't want this to become a uh, requirement. You know, you want to have fun with it and like really bro, just let it flow. That's it, man. Like, pe- people ask all the time, you know, like, oh, what happened? It's like nothing bad, bro. He's still my homie. You know, I still love him. We still talk every day. Yeah, I'd hope to, you know, talk with him more. We got to get him on as like a guest when he's free. Man, that's disrespectful. <laughs> you're just asking the co host, like, you're. Inviting him on to be a guest now after you stole the spot. <laughs> it just seems like, yeah, ima- yo, it. imagine stealing somebody's girl and then saying, hey, we should all hang out sometime. Like, hey, it's, it's fucked. A, it's a good time, man. <laughs> it's fucked. It's time. Nah, it's I'm up. kidding. It's nah, he, he definitely will come on. You know, I, I wanted him to do a farewell episode this time, you know what I mean? And fucking just, you know, say what's up, say bye to everybody because we're going to miss him, man. You know, like he's, um, uh, he's definitely got a good sense of humor. You know, he laughs a lot. He could be stubborn with a lot of his weird views sometimes, but hey, man, it's who he is. Um, he's an intelligent dude. You know, he might be a little smarter than you, but hopefully you can make up for it in charm. Hopefully. I can um, only try, right? I don't know, man. But <laughs> we should be good, man. So that's that's what happened with Jay, guys. You know, we love him. We miss him. Um, but now, it, enough about that, because now it feels like I'm talking to the audience. I don't like talking to the audience. Yeah. These motherfuckers aren't here. You know, I'm talking to you guys. Um, oh, I got to introduce Ant, though. Fuck, man. I was Ant. Um, so Ant's our new tech guy. If you look at this cool Ant, is this in the image? No, it's in the, it's in the frame. All right, so look at this cool ass logo we got now on the screen. Ian's gonna do some cool shit for you guys. Um, he's really about making our uh, content look great, you know, and that's it. Um, so yeah, man. Today it's just me and Drew bullshit. And yeah, damn, man. I'm fucking going on. I feel like a fucking monologue here. What is this? Well, you know, it's big, man. You, it's been how long? How long has the hiatus been? Yo, like seven months. We People took have a been waiting. People we have t- been waiting. You we know? took a break longer than we actually did it. 
but now we're back. You know, we're new and improved. Um, Got this great new location. Yeah, true. I didn't even talk about the new yeah. location, man. Where we, we at? Where we at? Tell lit. the people. Nah, we can't tell the people. Man. They're, they're fucking, you know, <laughs> we're in the back cave. All the groupies start coming in here and throwing <laughs> their panties around. I got a girl at home. You know, I can't. My wife will kill me. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. That's, <laughs> yo, That's we're the punchline. It's not time to talk some shit anymore. It's for sure. <laughs> for sure. What uh, do you try to... It sounds like you emulate fucking... What's his name? From the 40-year-old virgin. Who's that? She was a hoe. For oh, show, <laughs> dude, yeah. that might be man. You know, I probably watch at this time in my life. I probably watch more of The Office than any any other shit. Bro, The Office. I think I just read that it's fucking The Office's birthday, fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. You see crazy. that? Did you see that? The uh, Office's birthday. I didn't see it, man. All right. So yeah. answer a little new at this. So code for when I ask you a question, like, hey, did you know about that? Is get those Google fingers working, bro? <laughs> just answer. Hey. I'm like, hey, Aunt, did you see that article that was posted yesterday on the fucking Washington Times? She's like, no, I haven't. The Washington Times. The Washington Post, whatever the fuck it's called. But, yo, the office is, bro, I can't even say that it's underrated because everybody fucks with the office, it man. It took a while, though. I feel like it was off the air for, like, three, four years before people started really giving it the credit. You know, or you maybe so, that was bro? just my experience because, like, I feel like as soon as I started watching it, then I started seeing, like, the cult following behind it. And I Yo, just, when I did know. you start watching it, though? Uh, 2017, maybe? To a couple of things, man. I feel like because you were watching it, you probably noticed the cult following a little more. Yeah, but, like, yeah, I, I guess I just never saw it when I wasn't watching it. I think the other part, man, is think about, like, every week, every month, like, information sharing on Facebook and shit. Is it what is it like? Fifteen years that it came out yet? What is it? What do I? What was I talking about? The Office's birthday. Yeah, it's fifteen years since it came out. Which uh, yeah. fifteen years? Damn, bro, that makes me feel mad old. So I still rewatch from episode one. Yeah, but I man. think you're probably noticing more people following it now just because fucking, you know, you probably spend more time on social media before, and you probably like shit that you see from The Office. Excuse me. So. You know, like, the algorithms just project more shit to you. I don't yeah, know. it's so crazy how that happens, man. Bro, so sketchy, dude. But, um, yeah, man, love The Office. I, I, I would even argue it's probably, like, as far as, like, the cast, it might be the best cast. Maybe not the most famous cast, but, like, that chemistry is, like, Lit. un... un re, it's like, you can't recreate that. You, what's crazy is that you say that, but The Office is just, like, a recreation of the fucking... <laughs> Yo, did you ever watch the original one? I honestly, just like that and Shameless, I tried watching it. I don't know. Yo. I couldn't figure I tried watching the original. I feel like it was the same exact show, like script wise, everything, with just uglier people. Really? Yo, uglier people. Those fucking Brits, dude, they don't look good like us, man. They say the first uh, season is almost like identical. Yeah, I, I only watched like the first episode, and bro, though, like, everything yeah. is the same, dude. Like almost like word for word, dude. A lot of people like, don't like that first season. Of the office because they, they mm. after the first season like all right we got to do something new we got to make it you know almost like Americanized. Yeah, good point, good point. But yeah, man, I feel like so many fucking dude. R.I.P. Man, I wish that shit was still on. But you know what? It really went downhill when fucking um Steve Carell left. You know, obviously that was the fucking they took a hit there. Yeah, it, I still enjoyed it. I feel like they added some good people, like giving Ed Helms more of a who's Ed Helms? Uh, Andy Bernard. Okay, yeah, they, they, they definitely gave him stepped more him up. Of a role, um, and that was big for him at the time because he had just done like, sure. over and shit. So he was Yo, like on sure. top of the world. Well, so it was um, big for them. They kind of had a stud after he yeah. did Hangover. And you know what's kind of crazy? Even Steve Carell was that way because when he signed on to the office, oh, he started banging out mad. Forty year old version hadn't even came out. I think it came out like maybe like first month, like around the same time the office originally Yo, he dropped. He killed forty year old version though. What a fucking classic. killed that role, man. Yeah. That fucking ah, Kelly Clarkson, yo. <laughs> man, that shit. shit had me dying, man. Like you know when, the whole movie, bro. When they shot that scene, when he was getting the legit, uh, yeah, he was, was getting legit, ripped off. Like, yeah, yeah, that was like real reactions to it. Yo, the other dude is funny too, man. I've seen him in a few movies. The black bald dude that works at the tech store with him, and what's that dude's name, man? What the fuck is his name? You talking about like the 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 little guy with the bald head? He's from Weeds, bro. No, not that guy. Which guy are you talking about? Like, one of the main guys. Like, the, out of the main four guys, the black guy. <laughs> the from, only one, yo. You know I don't what I'm know, talking about? What's his name? Look him up. Look up the cast. <laughs> Damn. No, just look at Black guy from this Black guy. ball dude? He's yeah. Cool. <laughs> yo. 
Yeah, this guy. Yeah, he's, he's funny, weeds. man. He's mad fun. This- I don't remember him in Weeds. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was like the, the first like love interest from like the first season. Yo, that that show Weeds was interesting. I just read today, they're bringing it back. Same cast, but it's like in really? the future where like she owns like a legal weed shop. Okay, it's good timing for that. I know it's realistic. Um, I yo, I noticed that. I feel like there are a lot of shows like that on. Um, like streaming services, like shows that kind of take a woman and put them in a position of power and doing things that, you know, like women typically didn't do. Well, you know, it's all about markets, right? And right now there's a there's a, a market for people that want to see that. And I feel like it's great. It's yeah, great that everybody... That, that market is women. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's, it's great. I feel like it's good that you have all these different markets. And like Netflix really makes it easy to like... To make a movie, especially in Hollywood, you're talking like big budget yeah, stuff, yeah, right? And too like much. Netflix gives that like lower level the opportunity to shine because like you wouldn't notice half of those shows are low budget. You know, it's it's all about how entertaining it is. Yeah, and they do they do solid production. I mean, especially with their their shows, man. I really like Netflix series. You know, like if yeah. I see that something is a Netflix original, I'm more likely to give it a shot if it's something new than if it's not a Netflix original. If that makes sense. Yeah. No, I've seen uh, some. Some, they're really good at like keeping you uh, into it. Like my girl made me watch this show. It was uh, you ever see Thirteen Reasons Why? You heard of that shit, bro? About, of course, you, I watched all that shit. Dude, that's just crazy, man. Just wild, you know how like every episode, you're like, man, this is kind of corny. This is like the corniest school in the whole world. But then like something happens in the last like five minutes, where you're like, shit, I gotta watch the next one. Yeah, like, of course, dude. They, 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 they do a you. good job. They're man. good with that. Yo, and I what? feel like they also t- touch on topics that maybe like might be a little too. Um, I don't know, inappropriate for like primetime TV. Like you couldn't put a lot of that subject matter on like ABC at eight o'clock. You yeah, know? the, the net because we pay for Netflix, they have so much more leeway. Yeah, you know, it's like it, it's an yeah, it's not network. Could you shit, imagine bro. how much? How many people have have Netflix? Like how you many subscriptions? You can't find that. They don't share that information, bro. Really? That's fact. There's gotta be. I'm, a I'm almost certain. I, like I know. Like Can we pull that up. Yo, give it a shot, man. They, that, they might that would even be crazy if it's I could be dead wrong. Get. Well, you know what they don't share? Like, you know, guys that do comedy specials and shit, comedians, yeah. they don't ever share their streaming numbers with those comedians. Why? Is like, that? if the comedian was like, "Hey, how well did we do?" They won't give them that information. They're just like, "Oh, it's it's going well." Because they don't want to give them that exactly. leverage for renegotiation. Exactly. Exactly. I, I was actually watching. Uh, One hundred and fifty-eight million. Subscribers. Right. So multiply that by seven ninety nine and multiply that by twelve. We'll see how much. That's how much money they make off of a year. Just if that's saying everyone's got the minimum subscription. That's crazy. You might not even be able to fit that number on a calculator. What are you going to Google <laughs> math problem? <laughs> Still can't find his calculator <laughs> app. Hey, <laughs> times seven ninety nine. Yeah, this is lit, bro. Times twelve. Shit, they might do. You might want to do times eight, then also Google that times twelve. They might do PEMDAS. You know. You want I mean? me to? <laughs> Yo, definitely, bro. Yo, you don't know how to write out the formula. I can do it, bro. <laughs> hey Siri. <laughs> if Siri gets that from voice. That's nah, you just gotta do one hundred and fifty-eight million times eight. Yeah, uh, one at a time. One hundred fifty-eight. Well, I mean, multiplication, actually, it would have been fine to write it out that way anyway. I guess it was one thing times one thing times But he's one. writing times and then the next time he's writing <laughs> X, bro. Like, he's writing it two different ways. What is that? Hey, hey you know, making Google earn that money. <laughs> Million, billion, trillion, zillion, gazillion. Do you see that? How much is one centillion? Yo, and do you also have the screen in front of you over there? So why are you looking here? It's gonna go. I'm trying to drag it. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Forget it. Let's just say it's a lot, bro. Yeah, it's my a point, lot. It's a lot. They're making. Poor <laughs> Ed's determined now. <laughs> Yo, they're making so much bank, dude. I was uh, watching SNL. Uh, they had Eddie Murphy on it, and then Dave Chappelle like came out as like a guest star, like during the mm-hmm. monologue, and he just like made a comment at the end. He's like, he Tracy Morgan's on stage too. I guess he's got a Netflix special coming out, and it's him, Eddie Murphy. And uh, Tracy Morgan, he's like, what you're looking at right now... Oh, I'm sorry, Chris Rock was there too. Yep. He's like, what you're looking at right now is 50% of Netflix's budget. Get <laughs> the know? fuck out of here. He got paid, man. Who? 
Dave Chappelle got paid. Oh, I'm sure he did, bro, but not 50%. Let's do the math real no, quick. 158 million times eight is close to, it's over a billion. Yeah. But right? They don't, they, it's over a billion. About, so we're talking, you know, probably close to like 16 billion a year. No, it's at least seven. But well, how much money are they spending hold on, hold on. on if on new products? I got to understand his, his logic here. If it's a little over one billion per month, how much do you think that is times 12? 12 Yeah, true. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> One yeah. centillion. Yeah, so, yo, his, I, I mean, it's a decent joke, but he's not even close to no, but, what it is. But I'm sure they had to pay Dave Chappelle a lot, bro. Definitely made it worth walking away from Comedy Central. He played his cards right. <sighs> he would have faded away if he would yeah. stay with Comedy Central. Yo, and, and it was like, you respect his reasonings, too. He's like, yeah. fuck y'all, you know? Like, I don't, I ain't need you to fucking tell me to be who you need me to be. I'm just... You know, that's like the story of like somebody who made like a really genuine piece of art and then corporate interest got attached to it and they're like, do this, do that. And not many people make the decision he made for sure. Yeah. That's uh, that's the reason why I like podcasting a lot too. You know, like we, we, for the most part, we can control whatever we want to do with it. You know, there are some corporate sponsored ones, I'm sure. But like we have a little. Rogan's corporate? Um, I don't think so, man. You got Bernie Sanders on there, man. That's legit. You had Andrew Yang, bro. Oh, bro. R.I.P., man. I was so R. sad. R. That was a, that was a very unfortunate. He was like the only. It was person. my boy, man. His only reasonable. Well, I can't say that, bro. Tulsi Gabbard is legit too, She's man. She's out too, isn't she? Nah, she she like took a step back, but she hasn't officially like suspended her campaign. Oh, good, good. I didn't know yeah. that because I, honestly, I thought Yang was the only good one we got left. It's just unfortunate, man, because most people that I know. You know, other than diehard, like, you know, Trump dick riders and... Yeah. Like, I was one. Like, I voted for Trump, you know what I mean? But, like, I'm not just going to, like, hang from his nuts everything he says. Uh, a lot of people I know, though, are like that. Like, if he's a, a valid option, they won't even listen to new information. The thing um, is, it, it's just... It's... As much as, like, some people will, like, vote for the policy, it's, like, really sad that we let our political system get to the point where Donald Trump really does look like the best option. You know? I don't think he was a better option than Yang, bro. Well... Now they Yang didn't yeah. get the support, which is crazy, man. Because a lot of that is due to exposure, you know. And there were so many instances, man, where he, quali- like he had a higher qualification than other candidates for like an event. Yeah. And the mainstream media would highlight other candidates and say, "Oh, you know, like these are the top five polling Democrats," yeah. even though Andrew Yang was higher than one of them. But they would intentionally leave him off the screen. You know, and, like, they, there was this big, cons- you know, you can call it a conspiracy, but it was a lot like the way, you know, like, um, you know, like, Trump was treated in the beginning. Like, he was, yeah. they were making it seem like he wasn't doing as well as he, you know, he actually was. Yeah. Um, you know, like, if you Google, like, yeah, uh, Yang Media Blackout, you can oh, see a lot of what I'm talking. Yeah, you've probably heard of when it. When I worked, uh, so, uh, my fiance, she has a, her own jewelry business, and I was uh, helping her out in Maine. She was working a what? show out there, and, uh. It was a fair. It was Freiburg Fair. It's the biggest uh, fair in Maine, right? And uh, there's only two political. Uh, there's only two politicians that were being uh, like advertised at that fair. Who do you think they were? Trump. Trump and Yang. Interesting. So, so I have a hard time believing through that app that we know failed. Yang got one percent. I feel like he got more, and they didn't. Oh yeah, admit it, yo, man. you know that fucking app, bro. You know that it was sh- uh, it was created. Yeah, you got to double check this for us, man. the The app used to count the the votes in Iowa was created by a company called Shadow. I did hear that. And the only candidate to have any financial trail to that company was uh, Budigeg. Booty gag, the dude that won. Surprisingly, Sur- the one that su- surprised by the that? one who surprisingly won, bro, and claimed his victory early, just somehow like donated forty grand to them for some reason. Yeah, it's- and I also read that um, the creator of the app that counted those votes coincidentally was a prior employee on um, Hillary Clinton's staff too. It's crooked ass shit. It's crazy, man. Like, What's up, man? You got any info for us? Did you think that Pete was a serious contender before that? No. I thought no, he was man. at the bottom. I, I couldn't. I can't fathom a world where more people thought he was a more uh, viable, viable candidate than versus fucking Yang. Yang. Yeah, come on, bro. If you just listen to him speak, man, I dude, you know, like his policies, I think are a little legit. Some are stupid. Like I'm not on board with all his policies, yeah. but 
You're never going to find, I don't think, one candidate where you're like, fuck yeah, dude, everything he does is legit. Right. You know, so, I, what's that right there? What does that say right there? Digital first strategies, what did I say? Yeah. Does it say anything about booty gag or booty leg, whatever his name is, donating to them? Um, no, I haven't seen it yet. Are you using, um, try t- just typing that into Google, like uh, booty gag pays shadow Iowa. You know what I mean? Like those keywords will probably bring something up. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like a lot of his policies I thought were good I- policies I thought were good ideas. Um, but yo, what really got my support from him is like he seems very genuine when he speaks. Yeah. He's educated, yeah. he's genuine, you know, he's real. I right. don't feel he doesn't so seem like manipulative. Oh. That- Ooh, so I'm oh, full of shit. So everything I was just talking about was like what, debunked? Or was this the fucking article that was just pushed to the top? No, 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 no. no. Let's look at this. Look at the, that very last uh, paragraph in the first part. What's that say? Beauty, uh, Beauty campaign paid Shadow, the company behind Iowa Cactus, 42.5 in July for text messaging software, but it was not related to that app. So okay, you have, get the fuck out of here, Yeah, bro. so you have to believe that. He, Listen. he gave him money, but it wasn't for that, though. That's so stupid. Like, it's obviously for that, bro. No other candidate was paying them money. And you know what's crazy? Somebody brings up that uh, thing that you just said about him paying that money. Yep. Somebody Googles it, sees that headline, and they're like, and dude, not associated. See, it's fake. No. It's fake. Fake news. That's, at, at, at best, misleading news for sure. Yo, it's a very, like, we see shit like that, man, and we fucking laugh and joke about it, man. But there's a lot of scary shit about how Google can manipulate you know, the content that you see in Facebook and Twitter, all of these things manipulate what kind of information you're intaking, man. And it's also very important to look at, as far as like these platforms, where is the information going? Because, you know, if you look into it, it seems like we're in the beginnings of like this like third world war where it's like it's not fought by body count. It's all about information, information bro. So like for if they sure. can sway you one way, they win. Yeah. You know, and, and it all comes down scary. to money. Because when you, fu- you know what I mean? Like now, like the, the, when they find out the way that you're thinking and the way that you're like leaning ideology wise, man, it's so much easier to market shit to you. Yeah. That's what I think. Anyway. I don't like the idea that, I don't know if you've been like on the internet heavy lately, but I, you can't go anywhere without seeing Bloomberg ads and like, really? Yeah. And like you, that dude has that $80 million net worth. And like, I feel like he's like skipping out all the debates and stuff. And like, he's mm. like a, a serious contender. Watch this. Google so, Donald Trump. No way. Crazy, dude. Just, yeah, just type in Donald Trump. I guarantee you. Yeah, click right there. Go down to, like, the ads. Yeah, I think it's, like... Man, this is good. You ain't got no ads, And man. you're full of shit. <laughs> no. no, on mine, I got the ads. You see, maybe it's because they look at me as, like, a, like a Donald Trump... You know, supporter. So maybe they're trying to so sway they're targeting you. Blue Yo, I I read something about that. It was um like I read somebody like they were like attacking Bloomberg. I don't know. They were attacking somebody, and they're like, dude. They, somebody posted a video. I think it was a Bloomberg video or something, and the commenter was just like, "Hey YouTube, what the fuck do I have to do or spend to not see Bloomberg in my face every ten seconds?" Yeah, because I guess he's uh, yeah putting ads everywhere. I don't and, really, and that's why they're saying that the Democrats are gonna like s- jump ship to him at the last second because they're saying that as a whole, the Democratic Party isn't raising enough money to have this stronger campaign. Trump is raising money in like record uh, record numbers. If you look at the uh, New Hampshire uh, election, he got like three times more than like Obama got, Bush got. Like yeah, that. I didn't really look into it. I mean, I saw headlines and I saw his tweets about it, but... Look up, yeah. Yo, I, I feel honestly, man, here's here's where I was. Up until Trump ran the first time, I was pretty disengaged. You know, I yeah. wasn't really political. But I appreciate what Trump said, you know, and I, I thought he was being genuine, so I voted for him. Um, and I, I liked Yang for a lot of the same reasons that I liked Trump. You know, he's yeah. he, he, what he said was anti-establishment. You know, he's not afraid to call out like, fuck, this is crooked shit. Yeah. You know, after he's been in office, I'll be straight with you. I'm neither like impressed or not impressed. It didn't really affect my life at all. You know what I mean? I don't know any gay people that have less rights. And I don't know anybody who's richer now that Trump is in office. I just think that that's, that's the one thing that I don't understand. Like, I he is definitely like rough around the edges, man. But do we really think that... 
he is like this racist guy. Like I don't know what he's. I don't done. think so, man. You know, you know? It, it just seems like it, such a smear, and it, it, it is see, definitely to me, a smear it seems campaign. So obvious. It's obvious, bro, and it's sad that so many people, like, jump on that train, man. Yeah. You know, you can't go anywhere now. You can't have a fucking disagreement with somebody without being called, like, a racist or a fucking, you know, and, homophobe or some weird shit, dude. And with, like, you have these really, like, extreme people on that side that are, like, causing that, you know? And it, it, I find, if you look at my <clears throat> beliefs, I find that I would lean more liberal. But I feel like the liberal party is being taken over yeah. by just like this like extreme the, fucking weirdos yeah man, and they're using know? it's like almost like they're using the equal rights for everybody and the identity politics like they're using that platform to push through an agenda that people aren't really noticing like what you know well i would say you know big government socialism you know and i guess depending on what side of the fence you lean you might say that that's okay but that's uh you know if you look at Venezuela or other places that have tried that, you know, it never ends well. In what sense, man? You kind of lost me, I'm going to be honest with you. As far as, like, socialism? Yeah. Yeah. You go to, like, if you look at, like, Venezuela, um, you know, and I'm not an expert on it by any means, but, like, I know that, like, when the government controls everything, it's... They don't really do that a well. A good job. At yeah. At the end of the day, so, like, the government... You is- don't want the government controlling your, your food. Like, you don't want right. them to be in charge of, like, the food markets that you go and buy food right. because there's only going to be bread on the, the shelves, you know? So how do you feel about the argument that the government should have a role in what kind of ads Facebook allows on their platform? Because it's tough. I like a free market. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't really like, if I want to sell you this shirt for a thousand dollars and you're willing to pay for it, I would never want the government to tell me that's too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think they should be able to be intervening in that to an extent. I would probably draw the line at like medical, you know, when it comes to like human lives and, you know, pharmacies and prescriptions, I think they should be able to regulate prices so they're reasonable or else, you know, like companies could charge anybody that has, um, you know, cancer and needs chemo a, a million dollars. You know what I mean? Like it would be crazy. But like, so for for to be specific, a company like Facebook, do you think the government should be allowed to control what type of ads they they um, publish during an election season? Because um, that's an ongoing thing right now. I think now. See, I don't. It might not be something that's so cut and dry, because I think that there needs to be more transparency as far as like who is promoting these ads and has this been fact checked. So I think that at the very least there should be accompanying like almost like a source, right? So if they're, like, they're going to say like facts, like where did you get these facts? I need a link to that. And I also want to know who paid for it. So you can see yeah. who's funding that. And also if things are true, where are you getting these facts from? So somebody can at least look it up and see that you're not just, you know, saying some misleading thing right. or almost like, you doing like fake news, you know, because we do know that that's a thing. That's a thing, bro, and that's an effective thing, man. For sure, because it's, it's so... not about if it's true or not. It's just about who said it the loudest. Dude, good point. So, anyways, yeah, man, <laughs> Yang, Yang's out, bro, and that was kind of heartbreaking. So I'm back on the Trump train because I don't really trust anybody else. I um I did read some good news about that. You know, he did say that he's going to start looking into other um, political roles, maybe get into the Senate just so he can get his feet wet in the game because he feels like his views are something, or he's focusing on a problem that's only going to get worse as time goes on. Mm -hmm. So he feels like he's going to be like, he's going to be the Bernie Sanders, right? Where people are like, oh, look at Bernie 30 years ago. You can say he always was telling us this. And I think he's going to be that for, you know, job automation. And, you know, you know, he's guy. Yeah, well... Yo, UBI is one thing, man. That I was like, at, at first thought, I was like, "This is fucking wild, man." We can, seems how can like you Andrew. give? Yeah, it seems yeah. well. Not, I'm not. I'm talking about before I even knew who Andrew Yang was. Yeah, um, it wasn't a political thing. It was just like I noticed it on a podcast I was listening to, and I just thought the concept. I'm like, that's crazy, man. UBI, you can't just give everybody money. You know, like if you give everybody money, they're not going to work. But then I thought about it more and more often, and. I look at a person like, uh, you know, like everybody, you have to pay taxes yeah. no matter what, no matter where you own land, right? You have to pay taxes. Mm-hmm. But if you, if you want to be self-sufficient, right? And you want to be completely free from government interference and not use any 
um, benefits of having a government, you're not really allowed to do that because you have to pay taxes. Right. But what if, you know, you're somebody that built your own house, you know, built your own cabin in the woods. You get your own fresh water. You don't need electricity. You hunt your own food. You can actually sustain your life without any government assistance whatsoever. You don't use any technology. They're still going to come looking for money, no? You know, it's funny you bring that up. Me and uh, me and one of my buddies had this conversation, like, similar. Or you need a fishing license, all this shit, you know? Like, right, right. But, like, imagine if you had the ability to opt out of it. I feel like society would function better. Not saying that everybody Opt out of what? Opt out of the system. Opt out, be able to go, like, say, like, you take, like, a big square foot of, like, mid uh, Midwest area. Like a Utah. square foot? Huh? Square miles, okay. sorry, yeah. Oh, um, and just say, hey, if you choose, you go here. You go here. Don't ask us for shit. Exactly. No police, no roads. Like, you're on your own. Yeah, you build the roads, you come together as a society, build your shit. Oh, that'd be interesting to see how that works. And honestly, I think it would be good because it's like, people right now feel like they're almost like tricked into a system. But when you know that that's always an option, you feel like you're making the choice to not be. Because, you know, mm. would you want to go leave your phone? Like, we started off there. Like, you wouldn't want to leave your phone. You wouldn't want to leave the Xbox. But to know that you always have that option makes you feel like you're in control of your own destiny. So you're saying the government should do it as a way to just manipulate everybody? Hey, I'm not saying it wouldn't work. <laughs> Sheesh. I actually would like to see how that would play out. You know what I mean? Like, Would it be would the com- like this violent? I, no, I bet the community would be very reasonable initially but i think the problem is how scalable is that you know because it's very easy for a community of 10 people to come and work together 20 people pretty easy 100 gets kind of difficult you know because now we have different we have different views on different things Mm. what's fair and what's not now you have a small form of government that's there to like mediate shit you know and and make decisions because everybody's not going to agree on everything all the time right who makes the call do you, is it just the alpha male, the bigger and the strongest guy? Like, how are they settling conflicts? That's interesting. That's, that's a, what I'm saying. So, yeah, it, it, eventually, I feel like it, it's inevitable that that would branch off and become, like, its own separate tribes. You know, like, I can't see it going any other way. Right. And But also, too, getting back to, you know, the idea of knowing you have that choice. Like, people on the outside are going to see how that plays out, and they're going to appreciate where yeah. they're at. You know that shit's I mean? wild. That's crazy. That's like almost like some like almost like the purge. You know, like you go crazy for that one night. You ever seen that? Yo, I was actually yeah, I saw those movies, man. I was really disappointed with them because I remember seeing the preview and just reading like the plot, and I'm like, yo, this shit has potential, dude. Have like you this seen movie could be. No, what's the series? They came out with a uh, like a ten episode short like uh series about one purge it was on netflix no it was on like ae or like usa yo that that a boy ant bro we don't even have to ask him that's that <laughs> shit i like we're getting there man we're getting there i'm gonna are you gonna take a piss no 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 i just uh grab some caffeine for myself some caffeine my man's got fucking caffeine he's got edibles he's got booze dude you know this man you sure you don't want one some caffeine some oh some edible no no i'm good man micro dose homie Nah, fuck it. Give me one. I'll take it. I'm already <laughs> boozing now at this point. Why the fuck not? What do we got to lose? What do we got to lose? Worst thing that happens is my fucking nuts come out in 4K. Hey, Best thing that happens is I'm funny. 40, it's 1440. Oh, 1440. <laughs> oh, shit. Where did you get these from, Drew? Um, I got these over at Hope Heal Health. In oh, my God. That looks huge, bro. This is going to fuck me up, dude. Yeah, it's microdose. It's only 2 milligrams. All right. We'll see what happens. How does it taste? Like shit. You think? Oh, that's terrible. Tastes like mutton. Tastes like what? Mutton. What is mutton? Like nothing. Like mutton. Why did you say nothing, man? I don't know. Mutton's a fun word. Yes. Kid, I, a kid I used to work with back in the day told me that about cottage cheese. Trying to get me to eat cottage cheese. I'm like, gross. He's like, nah, it tastes like mutton. What is that? The Purge show? Yeah, two seasons. Oh, Prime oh, Video? Oh, shit, there's a second season? Is the show decent? Maybe I'll give it a shot. It's good. Honestly, um... It's better than most of the movies. Really? Yeah, and I really like the movies, like especially the later ones where they like talk about like the first purge. You see that one? Yeah. That one was uh, really good. Like, the, the election one, one was really good too. The electric mm. one was in Osaka. Was really? For real? Interesting. I'm not surprised. Most time they were looking for one. Hmm? They were looking 
<laughs> a downtown ghost town. Yo, when I would, I used to work in one sock. When I would drive through their downtown area, I'm like, yo, this looks like it has so much potential. You know, there's a Spanish uh, restaurant, food Spanish restaurant. Cafe? Bro, exactly that one, dude. Wow. Well, I worked over there. It's definitely got nothing on like the Dominican spots in Pawtucket, yeah. but it was available. I'm like, yo, you telling me I can get some rice, beans, and meat for seven dollars? Because that's all I want to hear. I don't care about anything else, dude. I was like, let's go. Yeah. Ocean Cafe, bro, right there. No shit. What else would I hit? River Falls is dope, too. Yeah. You ever go there? House. Where? House. I think I've been there. It's like, uh, you know where the old DMV was in one socket? No. Nah. All right, downtown, Good talk. you know the um, Sunshine Pizzeria place? I think I've been in this pizza spot. They got like, ice cream and shit. Mm-hmm. Anyways, downtown, it's just like Rice Farm, family style, like you eat chicken pasta, all that shit. Oh, that sounds whack. I hate Rice Farm, dude. I feel like it's overrated. Yeah. Rice Farm, kind of whack. Wow. Rice Farm, shout out. I went there with, uh... <laughs> Yo, you guys want to be a sponsor? <laughs> you went what? I was there two weeks ago. Oh, man. So, what have? the fuck else is good, Drew, man? What have you been doing? What do you do for work, bro? It's weird, because like, now you're here, like, people are used to... I used to do. I was used to doing this with somebody that I talked to daily, and right. you know, he's been. It was my boy forever, and we've known each other forever, but it's been a while. I know. Um, you know, so I've been in sales for a long time. I uh, started with Verizon, did like seven years over there. Are right, you uh, talking to me, right? What's up? Remember, you're talking to me, right? Yeah. All right. I mean, it sounds like you're talking to an audience. What do you mean? You asked me what I've been doing. No. What, yeah, for work now though. But I've known. I've like I know that you're. What you do for work? I'm curious yeah. a little more about it. I guess. Yeah. I so uh, my bad. I didn't mean to call right, you out like that. So yeah. No. 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 I, uh, right now I'm uh, I'm in cannabis. So uh, I, I, sure. I uh, work at a dispensary. Cannot um, be named. So don't ever ask. Right. Uh, uh, I cannot. I can't be named. say the name. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know if that's really true or not. I just know that Massachusetts has some pretty strict it's advertising. Not worth. Laws. Not worth it's taking not worth the chance. It, yeah. Um, but you're the weed guy, man. So we can go and fucking. Earlier, you were teaching me about. Uh, the different types of fucking yeah, um, we different were types of oils. No, we weren't smoking. I don't smoke. Yeah, well, I was smoking was this fucking. Make sure that camera's not on me this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, you know, we were smoking this lavender jack right here. It's uh, some liquid live resin. It's liquid like live of, resin. Yeah, it's kind of like the uh, top end, you know, vape. Um, Kind of like what they're coming out with now ever since they banned the vapes. I don't know if you heard about that. Like, they banned... I've seen, like, them banning jewels and shit and making it illegal for kids to from September, <coughs> From September to okay. January in Massachusetts, you couldn't get any vapes, any vaping devices, nicotine, CBD, THC, none of that. To me, what was crazy about that is, like, cigarettes have been killing people forever. Cigarettes forever. Like, how the fuck... Over fu- 400,000 so, people a year. What bothers me is, 11. like... Yo, when we want to get, like, real real laws and real shit done, it takes forever. There's a process. But you're telling me, like, you can wake up with a hard dick one day and decide to fucking remove all vapes from the places that they sell them, all these products? It's Yesterday we were good, but today it's illegal. No more. Yeah, Cut not, the bullshit. Not to mention, so like... So why can't swift things happen to correct what's really wrong right now? Like, uh, weed is still illegal some places. Why are we not just saying, all right, enough is enough. It's done. Yo, that was another... Do you think if we became legal, like, nationwide, do you think other states, like, some states would make it illegal if they make it state choice? I'm sure. You know, like, crazy, stupid fucking conservative states. Yeah. I would, um... It's bro, crazy. I feel like... I would probably advocate that, like, all drugs should be legal. Yeah. Um, that's uh, worked in other countries, you know? I just don't think the government should have any say in what you... Like, bro, if... if Like, I look at it like the same logic as, like, abortions, you know what I mean? A lot of people look at abortions like, yo, the government can, can't control what you do with your body. To me, like, what you ingest in your body is, like, you. You know what I mean? Like, why Definitely. should anybody else be able to fucking dictate what that is? And also, too, you know, if we really want to make the government work for everybody, that's, like, a taxable business, you know? Mm. The state is making hundreds of million dollars off of taxing marijuana. I mean, imagine if they were the ones, like, if you look back at, like, 1880... Uh, you could probably pull this up. Tell me if I'm wrong, right? Like the 18, late 1800s, you could go into a place, get shot up with dope, in front of a doctor. You fucking were high. You chilled. You had a good time. You paid. Government got mm. taxed, and you were good. You know, it was safer. Definitely safer. And That's then 100%. also, it's creating revenue for our government to fu- 
function, yeah. you know? It's wasted. It's regulated. You know, it's like that that the the edible you just gave me, man. Yeah. You know, like, I, I trust it because I know what you do for work. I know that there's a recipe on the, like, there's an ingredient. There's, like, right. a fucking, almost like nutrition facts, man. Where fucking, you know, Jack and Jill give me an edible from down the street. I don't know what's in that. Right. You know, I don't know how. Am I going to be puking my brains out and having a seizure, maybe piss myself? Or am I going to be a little high? You know what I mean? Like, I want to, and I feel like. When it's regulated, you can get that information. Yeah, when we first uh, when we first became uh, legally for adult use, we ran into a lot of issues. Where like, so it's all about dosing, right? So mm -hmm. the most you can have in a single dose in the yep. state of Massachusetts for adult use, medical is different, but five milligrams a piece. Why is right? that? So people don't get too fucked so people up. Don't get too fucked up. But like, you can have up to twenty servings in a pack. So what people do is they'll make like uh, a chocolate bar. Like you ever seen like a Hershey's bar? It's got right, like 20 right. breakaway br yep. pieces and each piece is five. But what's happening is you get people that are like, you know, it's an older clientele at the legal dispensaries for sure. People that are young still got their weed connects. So what happens is they buy the bar, think that the bar is the one time use, eat it, and they get so high that they feel like they're dying. Now, granted, you'll never die from taking too much THC mm. you, unless you jump off a building. You might something. do something that makes you yeah, die, but, but the THC is not going to kill you. Exactly. You know, so people don't know how to react to being that high, and then, like, people go to the hospital. And that was something that, you know, we had to work on. What does the hospital do to sober you up if you're high as fuck? Can they do anything? No, they'll probably, like... Knock you out? No, they'll probably, like, give you, like, some water, give you liquids, make you make you pay to stay overnight to... Give you the placebo, make you feel like they're doing something? Yeah. Dude, you know, at the end of the day, that's probably one of the reasons I... I, you know, I drink more than I smoke. Yeah. You know, like, I, I can... I can opposite. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people are, and I understand. It's probably definitely healthier, um, but there's a thing about alcohol that I feel like I can control. You know, like, as I'm drinking, I know what it's going to do to me. And maybe that's just my ignorance and not understanding, like, dosage and milligrams with weed. Yeah. But I always feel like, you know what? I enjoy getting high, and then all of a sudden, I'm higher than I want to be. Right. And I can't sober up. And I honestly <laughs> think that's the real opportunity for going to a legal dispensary because you have things that are, like, low THC, high CBD strains, or, like, what I just had. Those are micro-dose edibles, so... You're not even, you, even if I took that whole bag, I'd be mildly high, right? The whole bag is 40 milligrams. They're See, but I feel piece. like you mildly high is like me comparable to Van Gogh on his worst day. Well, you know what? I I, can't, I welcome your review of this gummy that you're about to eat. I already ate it. I know. It takes 90 minutes to kick in. Oh, shit. That got me nervous because I thought I was high enough right now. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, so you probably <laughs> won't notice it. Oh, um, shit. I do weird shit when I'm high too, bro. That's what's up. Good for you, man. But yeah, but you can get like weed that's like that has less THC or more CBD, so it's lighter effects. There's tinctures, there's patches you can put on a place that hurts. I had, I had the salt. Oh, I got some CBD oil. Like Did you get it from a gas station, though. No, no, I got it from a CBD shop. Yeah, so I don't they, know if those are legit or not. You know, so they're popping they're up everywhere. They're though. legit, but here's the only thing about them: they're they're from hemp, right? So. A lot of the effects that you talk about from CBD comes from cannabis when you're combining it with the THC and other terpenes that are in the, the weed. Mm -hmm. But you have uh, this CBD is made from hemp. Totally different plant. So it's just CBD. and Wait, So hemp is not weed? It's very similar, but it's not the same plant. Can you smoke hemp and get high? Uh, you'll get like... Honestly, I feel like a lot of the mids we used to smoke back in the day might have been Interesting, hemp. bro. I feel like such a noob asking these questions. Yeah, no, like, honestly, it looks very similar. Um, uh, somebody who doesn't know a lot about weed, I could probably sell them hemp and they yeah. would never know. You could mean, probably sell me hemp. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, mids. I remember back in the day, yeah. breaking shit up, you seeds everywhere. You now. Nah, hell no. That's like a collector's item if you find that. You better save it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's really good to be able to walk in. It's not tested, too. Like, back to the... The CBD at the hemp. It's not tested for pesticides. It's not tested for potency. Yeah, they you don't want that shit sprayed with Roundup. Yeah. Round, you see that shit you with know, Roundup, bro? You know they're, why it's popping up everywhere? They're paying everybody, dude. Is that real? <laughs> yeah, Roundup. They figured out it caused cancer, dude. This, I think one dude started the movement. Sue them. One, no. like, I don't know how much he won, bro. A and billion, they maybe? Play, uh, they were spraying Roundup on... Uh, like, Their food, like, food, bro. Like, like what it was for. Yeah, yeah. pesticide, man. 
Round of cancer, bro. Yeah. Dude. Inspector works for Yo, you. Yo, am I crazy? Did he win a Send billion? Check, look, look, bro. look. Send me the check. Two billion dollars, bro. Yikes. I told that's his a, a dude, but Monsanto, he was Monsanto, man. He Monsanto's was, no joke, dude. But he They're was terminal, man. That's fucking that's crazy, dude. Like to imagine that, bro. Like the you find out like wow, this company that told me their shit was safe directly is that's why he got so much. I think they were able to trace his specific type of cancer directly to the chemicals that are in Roundup and like only in Roundup. You know what I mean? So it's like, bro, you kill this dude, billion. which is not enough. You don't think you can't buy time, bro. If you know what I mean? Like you could have lived a whole life and been 85, 90, whatever, but now you're going to die at 40. Could you imagine that? Though? Would you take the 2 billion? I probably don't. You take it, but two, you have to take it. You I don't think so. Man. What do you mean? No, no, no. I'm saying if you had the choice, if oh, you could like choose. to not have cancer versus No, no, no. Million. Like, hey, hey, right now, if I give you $2 billion, you're going to live till you're 40. But if you don't take the money, you're going to live till you're 90. I wouldn't immediately say it, but I would probably go, I would probably not do it. But you'd think about it. $2 billion, Actually, I'm thinking about it now. I might just take it. That's generational wealth, man. That's Your what I'm grandkids, saying. His grandkids are going to get it. Yo, well, fuck them. Dude. I'm not even going to know some of those motherfuckers. I know, but... No, nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, they don't like, know true. about you because they're Yo, spending true. your money, dude. Right? Oh, they damn. They don't know about you. That's a uh, that legend. I feel like the reason I would take it is, A, like you said, generational wealth, but also you can probably live a lot more in the next 15 to 20 years than you're going to after 40 anyways. With no money. you know, Without the billions. Honestly. You do whatever the fuck you want for the next 15 years or whatever. Yeah. That's tough, man. But I'm telling you, when that clock starts counting down, you're going to be like, what if I give you the two million back? <laughs> yeah, like, that's... Well, how about one billion and fucking a hundred million every year? Round up cancer. All right. Yo, these guys must have made a crazy name for themselves, huh? Klein Inspector. Shout out to Klein. <laughs> what were we talking about before that? We were talking about the weed being... Uh, oh, yeah, my bad, my the, bad. The CBD. So, like, you know how that CBD ended up on your shelves, though? No, huh? Um, Trump, man, that's actually something Trump can sign on. Really? He, um, oh, lit. He passed a uh, farm bill which legalized the sale, or the actually the growing of industrial hemp, which is used to make the CBD, but really can also be, uh, you can make paper, you can make rope, you can make, uh, like they're making shoes out of hemp now. Isn't the only reason that hemp was illegal, like in the first place, was because oh, of a paper company? Canvas. Uh, so I don't know the full details, but that's what I've always been like told. Like a paper like, company spreading misinformation about yeah, hemp. Because hemp was cheaper to make. It was cheaper to make and it would have put paper companies out of business. Right, because so nobody these, wants to cut down trees. Yo, these big ass paper companies were just like, nah, we got to tell people that using hemp paper will get them high. Yeah. <laughs> like, And then it's a gateway drug, so if their kids draw on hemp paper, they're going to be shooting heroin within a month. And now fucking hemp is illegal for what? How long ago was that, dude? Forever. You know... They don't like to use the term. A lot of people don't like to use the term marijuana in the business. Why? Because there's racial connotations behind it. Like really? Marijuana was a term that was created in like the 20s, 30s as like a smear campaign to be like, uh, you know, like dark skinned people are smoking this marijuana and like raping white ladies. So raping like, white ladies. Yeah. Dude, so With I their think, fucking big mendingo dongs. Yeah, right. Um, they, uh... They like cannabis. Cannabis is the correct term. I like because of that. pot. Pot's a good term for me. I can use pot. Buddha. You can, you can say whatever. Whatever makes you happy. I like to smoke some Ray Charles, baby. Some Ray Charles. <laughs> She'll make you Just part. made that up, right? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up, dude. How's that fucked up? I don't know. He is blind. Isn't it weird that you can't, like, say... You can't point out a fact without it, like, being, like, offensive. You know? I hate that. Yo, then I do I like I hate it too, man. I hate this whole like um, what's the word, like uh, like offensive culture. What am I talking about? It's like triggered culture that we're in or whatever. Yeah, I guess you could use either term. Do you think Do you think that you abstain from speaking how you normally would because you're worried about offending somebody? I gotta tell you, man. I come from a very political family. No, I wouldn't say very political, but we talk about politics, well, I, especially I, on social media where we communicate. Right. I would assume your family is like wealthy and political. No, just I by would, looking at you. Uh, really, thanks, man. You're white. You know I what appreciate mean? that. That's the assumption. That's what we're gonna go with, right? So that's why you're on here. We need some <laughs> of that fucking that um, white money. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So, um, fuck. What was I talking about? 
I don't know, bro. That gummy's kicking in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck. Who's the J2? Um, we were talking about, I asked you if, do you, like, bite your tongue or abstain from saying oh, certain yeah. things? So, anyway, I used to Because you're afraid of offending social somebody. media. I used to use social media as a way to, like, share, like, political and things that I saw interesting. And, like, now I find myself typing things out and, like, sharing my views. And I'm like... I can't do that anymore, man. Because I, I don't. You're gonna get a lot of negative like, feedback. Uh, yeah, so I try to. I've actually made this, um, like this promise to so myself. So you're filtering yourself. I am. I really am. I'm only sharing. I'll keep my opinion to myself. I think that's a problem, man. I, I agree, but it's just easier for me. I don't like the negativity brought into my life. So I'll share an article. You want to comment about it? Like, good. Read it. You want to see? You want to make up your own mind? I just want to share information. And you look at it and make your own. I don't want to sway anybody anymore. That's not why I was put here. I wasn't yeah. put here to be a spokesperson for a politician. I like that. You know, so I'll now, share something I saw interesting, but is you it, make your mind up. Does it, do you think it's because you don't want the conflict? For sure. Or because... I don't have time for You're it. afraid you may have to defend like your stance if somebody disagrees with it. Because that's a thing, too, you know? There's a lot of times where I'm like, hey, i got to back out of this conversation because I'm not educated enough to continue it. And a lot of people don't have that ability, you know, like they, and I feel like what, what some people do is if you're disagreeing with somebody and you're winning the argument because you just understand it better. Yeah. Sometimes what I do is I back out and I can just be like, you know what, man? Like, I just don't know enough. It is what yeah, it is. I'm, I'm I feel trying. like the real problem is a lot of people, then they resort to like personal attacks at that point. Yeah. You know, and that's where like the, Hey, you're a homophobe. You're just being racist comes in because now there's no more like logical argument that they have right you know once you call somebody like a racist or the argument's over you're like you're you're morally obligated to go against them like once you once you start Mm. saying those words you know yeah those words bro i think back though you know even now i feel to myself and i think like damn am i growing and maturing or am i just kind of being a fraud are you in a climate where you have to hide your thoughts yeah like dude that's like i don't like to throw like terms around lightly but like that's how like the Jewish people felt during the Holocaust, man. Like, like they're like their whole, their whole like way of life has been like becomes like a secret, and like you have to just like move. So I can't even explain. Like it, timidly. Like, yeah, timidly is like the yeah word. the. I think the big difference with I'm not gonna compare myself to a Jewish person during the Holocaust right. because I can't like make a gay joke without offending someone. Because I think with the Jewish thing. It was never like that they were doing anything like wrong or offensive or harmful to anybody. Right. Nobody's feelings were hurt by what they were doing. It was just uh, they were devalued as humans. You know what I mean? Right, but in a way, now I'm t- now before I even go there. Now go for it. I, I can tell you you're, you're worried about how you word this. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, I that the Holocaust is not the same level, but you. Do but we have- needed it. <laughs> but no like you have to really like keep your views quiet right and like that is not a good feeling like, i feel like that's like the start of a system where like only one view is getting the airplay so you feel less than for having okay a view fair i get i don't really think i i'm never in a position where i want to keep my my views quiet yeah. you know because if i feel something you know like, I, I don't have a problem sharing my beliefs i mean more or less, I'm thinking of, like, just the words that I use when joking around. For example, man, growing up, you know how many times I've called somebody a fag? Oh, for sure. Fag this, fag that. Like, yo, you're such a fag. And I would, I was never like, hey, man, you're a fag because you are a boy and you also like boys. It was just because, like, man, that shit was silly. That was gay. It was stupid, you know? Yeah. Like, it, it had nothing to do with sexuality. Where now it's like, bro, if you, you know, if you use the word fag, you call somebody a fag, you're like... That was pretty ballsy. You know what I mean? Like, you're right. probably going to get crucified for that. Yeah. You know, even though, like, you you don't, like, you don't mean that at all. Bro, I would never, like, you know, people are gay, dude. I don't give a fuck. People are straight. I don't give a fuck. Like, when I'm talking about a fag, you could do something that's faggy. Right. I don't think you're, like, it's weird. You could fucking, like, spill a drink on yourself and be like, such a fag. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, yeah. like, it's so know, weird. That's though. almost one, though, that's like, it's almost like, just let him, let him have it. Let him have it? Yeah, like... Let who have it? Like, you know, like the that, facts? Not, <laughs> not, not, like, uh, like the LGBTQ, man. Like they they have, have too much, man. 
Yeah, you think? I think so, bro. Yeah. Not too much. They go half the letters. What do you mean? What do we spell? <laughs> How do we spell shit? We can't use those letters. Yeah, I, I, I guess I get what you're saying. I just feel like that's like a battle not worth taking at the same time. I had an interesting conversation the other day, and I was kind of um, viewing it from afar, from a distance for a little bit, like I was a, a bystander, and I saw some interesting points where it was a woman um, arguing with a man about like equal rights, mm-hmm. right? And he was saying, hey, you know, like, whatever, like, you don't need this or you don't need that, and she was just like, well, you're, you know, blah, 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 we do, it should be equal. He's like, listen, you don't have equal rights. She's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like... If you actually had equal rights, would you have to fight for them? Like, would you have to, like, make it a point to tell us to give you them? And she's like, what? That doesn't mean anything. He's like, so if we give you the option to vote, consider that a fucking privilege because we are allowing it. He's like, you know, I have equal rights because, and I hate the words that I use, but it was just like, because I'm a man. So a woman can't tell me anything that, you know, you can't give me permission for anything. So, you know what I mean? It's actually my right. But when you have to fight for it, if I have the option to say yes or no, then it's obviously not a right. You know, it's a privilege that's given to you at that point. I never understood that argument, man. Bro, I, th- I, I, I was, again, I was like, yo, this is interesting. I'm sitting there with the popcorn, you know? Right. I had to throw the Michael Jackson gif on there, like, oh, I'm watching this argument. Now, maybe, but, maybe this is just my, my thought, but, like, I always feel like when women are, like, want to be considered equal as men, like... Maybe I'm soft, man, but I feel like that's like a step down for them, man. Like, why they gotta to be equal to men, man? They're so much more important to like, like the continuing of our society than we are. You know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> like, nope. Well, think about well, it, man. Like a woman is they they give birth to the child. You know they they mother the child, and like that's something oh, yeah. that like. You need a mother's affection when you're growing up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for like sure. More like more people. Like, how often do you hear people that are just with their dad? It's Grow up with a single just dad. With the, it's always the mom, right? Yeah. But you need the mom, right? And I, I think you like, need both, but I, I I respect and understand your point that I'm. I need you need both, but if you had to choose, it's going to be the mom for sure. Always, yeah, exactly, man. exactly. And like, I feel like their role in like the grand scheme of society is so much more important. Than what a man is and like that whole fight for like i don't know i feel like back in the day when like like you're worried about the wrong rights you yeah know what i mean at yeah. the end of the day you what you provide is so much more natural and important and what we provide is what <laughs> you know fucking fake weird laws that yeah. don't really matter in the yeah. grand scheme of things exactly you know yeah i get what you're saying you know I've so always, so just to be clear you don't understand equal rights for women. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what you that's said. A, you don't same. agree with it. Drew doesn't agree with women's <laughs> rights. That's, that's going to be the quote. No, I never I understood the argument no, that course, women there's want there's equal no, rights. There's no reason that anybody, there shouldn't be, everybody should be treated equally. And honestly, I feel like we live in a society that a lot of, especially in America, you know, a lot of these groups, you know, are living a lot better than elsewhere like we are so far ahead as far as like women's rights gay rights oh for sure you know bro. and like we and like we for are, the most, sure, we are bro. the most ahead of the of the uh we're the m- most ahead and yet we complain the most it was just always crazy to me you know like you go like i was huh. just reading in ireland the first gay marriage ever happened like tuesday what yeah yeah we're tuesday. definitely ahead of the curve you know we're so ahead of and like and can you see if there's a video of their wedding night? <laughs> it's two girls, I, I believe. Definitely pull that up, bro. <laughs> pull that up. Um, wow, that's crazy, man. So, like, we... Yeah, like, we sit here and it's so normal to us because... Honestly, dude, when... When the first, like, gay marriage law happened... And this this could be a reason why, you know, gay, you know, gay people in the whole LGBTQ, um, you know, movement yeah. is so vocal about it. Because I didn't even know that it was illegal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, because Mass. Well, I don't. I actually don't know off the top of my head what the rules were in Rhode Island, but in Mass, we were one oh, of the yeah. first states to make it legal. 
So in okay. Massachusetts, I feel like it's been legal since like '02 or something like really early, maybe even earlier than that. Well, so, it, it's crazy that you say that really early. It's almost like why the fuck was it ever illegal? You know. I think obviously, I think it's like the religious. Definitely a religious thing, because at the end of the day, man, like we 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 preach this whole like hey separation between church and state. So why the fuck should the government have any say? Like at, at this point, there are no states where it's illegal, right? No, no, no. I think there were. I don't know how many, but in 2000 and like, I don't know if it was 11 or 12, but right before Obama went for re-election, he legalized same nationally. marriage nationally. Yeah, it has to be, dude. Yeah, it has to. It, like, at the end of the day, bro, I don't give a fuck if you want to marry your sister. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like the, the, that's between you, you know? Like, who the fuck am I to say who you can and can't marry? That's crazy. Yeah, but then it's like... But then you see like, fucking, what is this? Uh, Ireland just legalized that shit. Yeah. That is wild, man. So I think that we're we're more we are we have the most women's rights and the most we're the we're the most progressive country on yes. earth you could say almost yeah so well, I don't know I, we need to we need to realize that I think we're working toward it I think that we have made like thirty years ago versus now like I think we've made strides oh for sure man, for know? sure it, so we should we should recognize that that we are a country that's imperfect but we're working toward that goal. Look at Drew, man. Proud American, but reasonable. You should fucking run for shit, man. Dude, vote for Drew. 2032, man. 2032. Let me check my math. 12 yeah, years from now, you know? Yeah, at least 40. You gotta be, yeah, you gotta be old enough. <laughs> that's weird. That should be another law that's... Uh, really? Or criteria that's changed. Dude. Why? Well, like Why Justin so Bieber's running for president when they're 21? I mean, if you, if you can win, God bless you, bro. But it's a pop... It's a popularity contest. You really want, like... That's crazy that it's actually decided by a popularity contest. Yeah. Because, I think you're right, because if The Rock won, I think he would win. You, the Rock? I th- I'd vote for The Rock. Why? Joe Rogan, bro, 100% would vote for him. Joe, oh, Joe Rogan? A thousand percent, He voted for bro. Gary Johnson. Yo, he's voting for Bernie this year, he said. And he's been a Trump supporter, you know, up until pretty recently. I don't know if he's a Trump supporter. I feel like he's definitely a Trump sympathizer. He definitely you're realizes right. that... Yeah. He's, He's not as schmitt. bad as, yeah. as the media portrays him, so he gives him his fair shot. True, true. But I would vote for him. Who else would I vote for? Who'd you? Yeah, who'd you vote for that's famous? Who would I vote for? Well, Kanye West. No, I would not vote for Kanye West. Oh, man. <laughs> Kanye. What a fucking... <laughs> All right, we can't, we can't be asking serious questions. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Um, anyways, man, I feel like we've been going for a little bit. It might be time to wrap this shit up. Unless there was anything else you wanted to cover. Nah, man. Thank you for uh, letting me join the crew. I'm uh, looking forward to the the season ahead of us. Season? It's just a thing. It's not a season. We just do it. Yeah. That's what you think. (laughs) (laughs) You're telling me I got a fucking new host every four months, bro? Um, yeah, I guess that's it, bro. Let's wrap it up. Thanks for listening, guys. Peace the fuck out. It's been fun. We gotta talk about a lot of, like, transgender and like porn and sex shit next time this was a boring one <laughs> alright peace out yep three two one boom so what's up with that broom shit alright alright so let's let's address the elephant in the room first <laughs> <laughs> So, we're back at it. We decided yeah. to, we were going to stop, and we said, fuck it, let's keep going. The problem is, Drew gave me these edibles, and I forgot what I wanted to talk about. What, what I remember edible. now. Um, yeah, so so this broom thing, first of all, this fucking broom thing. You guys are so weird, balancing these brooms. Yeah. I, I thought it was a joke. I saw one person do it, and he's like, I'm going to make this go viral. At that point, it was probably already viral. Is what people are doing. Can you pull up a video? A room balancing video or so something I, fucking stupid? Is it true? What I heard this like story where it was like, okay, so this guy said like w- this day, like the gravitational pull was like perfect, so it would stand up straight. You hear that? I did. Um, is that try true? to get like a fist from it? Okay. You right can move the mic if it's more comfortable instead of shifting your. Well, this one's like kind of like shaky, so. Yeah, move the move this closer to you. You know what I'm saying? I might mean move closer too, because I might not be in this fucking camera shot. But anyways, yeah, try to you know it, it's weird, but try to keep it. Yeah. Going. But what were you saying? The, somebody said it was the like the Earth's gravitational pull that day. Do you have a broom? I don't have a broom. Oh, <laughs> what? What? No, man, this is not fucking. You don't got a J two broom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should get a J two broom. All right. So what? Right, read that. Explains. What does that say? Yeah? 
NASA explains why the viral standing broom trick is a hoax. Well, it's obviously not a hoax because people are doing it. Right, they could always do it. NASA's just stupid. Oh, right, right. Like somebody said that it was because, hey, today the Earth's gravitational pull is so strong that your broom will actually stand up. Yeah. But then now people are just idiots and realize, hey, my broom always did this. Broom up can actually stand a broom I up. I bet you if you look at it, that day people's houses were the cleanest. Because every most people had to have, you don't whip the broom out and don't fucking dust, you know what I mean? I bet most people just took the broom <laughs> and then put it back. Put it right back. Look at it, man. That's a clean. Dope. That's a clean floor. I like that color floor, like that gray wood. Yeah, that's 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 you do. That <laughs> <I> bet you. <laughs> All right, no, look at us fucking like just amazed at all these stupid ass brooms. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, man, if you if you tested this broom and shared your video with, whoa, that's not what I thought it was. Whoa, yeah, you gotta skip these videos, man. They're getting weird. Um, yeah, that's, if you, if you, this is actually a weird phenomenon, this broom thing for me because I actually did not see any videos of anybody attempting this challenge. I only saw the memes. So I was super confused when I uh, logged oh, wow. in. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I saw the memes about them making like this is like people on my timeline right now, and there's a broom. And I just did not see anybody trying to do it. I didn't. I didn't understand what it was about. Where'd it go? Oh, you took it off. I mean, we watched enough. How many more brooms can you see, bro? Well, we gotta see. You know, we gotta see what's causing it. How? <laughs> how did nobody know? I don't think anybody tried before. What is You're telling me that in the history of mankind, th- nobody about, tried to balance a broom. Think about how your tripod works, right? Yeah. Like, look at that. It's probably the same physics, all the bristles spreading out, just holding it up. Interesting. <laughs> Yo, <you laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> but it sounds reasonable, right? Like my explanation just Yeah, for sense. sure. I just think it's hilarious that we didn't notice that and like somebody was able to trick people for like <laughs> a day. 30 hours yeah, you know? yeah bro and everybody was just like hey what's up but anyways like, Whoa, before true. we get into that broom shit you mentioned uh you read kobe had a like a private funeral yeah so i read that on the 24th of february they were gonna have a big thing for him at the staples center i was thinking surely not a funeral though well it's probably more of like a celebration of life like probably like a funeral for the fans but they had a private funeral with uh just family and friends yeah good yeah, sad man. Shit upsets me. No more sad than anybody else dying to me. Yeah, I was not really a. Fan it's not really about it who really it is. It's just the situation. The you situation know, where he was like bigging up his daughter. Like that girl was supposed to be like the next big thing in women's basketball. She was already being looked at by like UConn, and that's just that was his focus, bro. You know, and like that's just a sad ending. And who don't no matter who it is. Yeah, it is. when you word it that way, it is sad. Yeah, but. It's. I'm just not more sad that it was Kobe Bryant. You know, yeah. it's just a sad story. Anyways, so that's what I mean. So well, there, there are a lot of sad. people out there who are even less sad that it was Kobe Bryant mm-hmm. because of you know. That's just the that's just the way of the world, man. Like people will try to convince you that everybody was a bad guy. I mean, not everybody's accused of rape. Yeah, but he was found innocent, wasn't he? I don't know. Was he? What are, I don't even really know. Aunt, what are the deets on that? Yeah, can we look that so up? Fa- out. He's texting I'm actually, I think that she dropped the charges because it seemed like she didn't really Did she receive a, a big payment, though, from him? I don't know. I'm sure this is a very... Po- oh, I think that definitely matters, bro. Let's see here. Oh, there's a whole Wikipedia page oh, on Oh, I'm sure that this is a very, Six very... Six parts! And including heavily, references. Heavily Googled uh, what, uh, thing lately. Whoa, where'd it go? Kobe Bryant rape case settlement is probably where you can find it. Uh, and, you know, I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for even entertaining this thought. But to me, that makes a difference, man. You know, like, because it, if he did, if he raped this person, if he raped this girl, um, sexual assault case raped, but not forgotten. I guess I got to hear How many saw the leg? Oh, what is that? Like... What type of rape? Or, I don't even want to say what like type that. of rape. But like, what is it? Like a situation where like he like what's the situation? Because it could be just somebody trying to get money out of him. You know, why would she not take it to court if she didn't? She doesn't want to. Do, she doesn't well, want to do jail time. To have a strong case, according to court documents, an examination of the woman at the hospital revealed a bruise on her neck and tears in her vaginal wall. Both her underwear and Brian's shirt were bloody. 
Brian told the police he had not explicitly asked for consent. While the issue of consent has long been at the heart of sex crime laws, while well, I'm really a fifth grader, <laughs> how it is understood and taught has evolved. In part because of high profile cases like the ones against Brian, no means no has given way to yo, yes. Yo, just stop. What? I wasn't recording any audio. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I just you, realized that I'm recording now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, just to tune back in and scroll up a little bit, we thought we were going to jump off, and then we didn't. We had some technical difficulties because we love Mister Ant. You know, he's a beast behind the scenes. You went too far up, um, but you know, we had some technical issues, so we're back. Still, episode one of the recap, or the review, or the new season, whatever you want to call it, we're back. Um, but he's back in. Audio is back up. So, uh, Drew and I were just discussing. Obviously, you know, Kobe he passed. Sad situation. And then I brought up, you know, that it's, you know, I'm not any more sad because it was Kobe. Um, and there are a lot of people that are even less sad because it was Kobe, obviously, with the rape allegations. And I might get some heat for even entertaining the idea because, you know, there are a lot, a lot of devoted fans who believe that, you know, he wasn't charged or he wasn't convicted, so he didn't do it. I necessarily don't think that that means anything. I, I, I know a lot, of, a lot of people and not many people are accused of rape. You know, like, obviously, you know, there are instances where it might be bullshit, but I feel like where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, you know, is this woman truly just out to get money or is there something there? So, Ant, Ant pulled up this article that says, um, uh, so we're, we're, we're reading an article about the, the rape case originally that happened with Kobe. You know, because some people just feel like, you know, fuck him, he passed away, there was a rape. Um, and then people, some people think that it never happened. What I'm reading right now says the prosecutors seem to have a strong case. According to court documents, an explanation of the woman at the hospital, I'm sorry, an examination of the woman at the hospital revealed a bruise on her neck and teals in her vaginal wall. That means her pussy. Both her underwear and Brian's shirt were bloody. Brian told the police he had not explicitly asked for consent. Okay. So, uh, first of all, explicitly pretty uh cut and dry right it, there. that seems pretty cut and dry the the explicitly asking for consent doesn't matter too much for me because it really seems lo- lo- yeah look at this pragmatically like if you're about to smash if you know if you're just like being if choked. you're getting down and dirty right and you're about to get it in are you going to say hey do you give me permission to enter you like no you if, if you're if it goes there it goes there you know like that you can't really who asked for consent what the fuck is that even about but anyways the whole the rest of that paragraph, though, seems to me like pretty. Can we see? Can we look up why the charges were dropped? Like, was there money? Was there? Yeah. But while he's looking that evidence? up, it, it with this information though, like if he's if he's a rapist, are you still sad for him? Maybe not him. I'm sad for his wife. I'm for sad sure. For the NBA, I'm sad for the players that I watch in the NBA now. Who like people like James Harden, who people say was like a prodigy of him. Mm. You know. Um, he was one of the greats. He's yeah, when you five. find it, just let us know. You know I'm oh, yeah, he's a you great know? baller for sure. But Michael Jordan was also a great baller. He's a scumbag. And I don't know if, you know, if I even know that Kobe is a scumbag or not. Um, you know, I I just, you know, was I wasn't really. If you, like, at what point in society are we going to allow people to say that they change, you know? Like, if so, like, you live a long life, man. The average, what's the average life? Like, 80 years? You do something when you're 19, 20, like you have to you're live still, with you're it forever. Still a bad guy when you're 41. I don't. I think if rape just has that. It's a different breed, man. You know. Like clearly, even obviously, you know, it seems a little bit forceful, but like, it seems like. I don't know. I got. What's it seem like? I, yeah, I true. I Maybe like I have to read more. It could just be a situation where he's. You breed them like you're not. He's not used to being told no. He probably did that a hundred times and never got in trouble for it. So, but I don't think that's an excuse, you know. Like, no, but not- I'm just saying, like, you have to look at it, like, when when you say like rapist, like, is he this like evil guy or a kid who made a mistake? So you think there's levels to rape? <sighs> nah, you're making me look like I'm not trying to pin yeah, you into a car. I'm not I, trying I to play believe, Gaia. I don't believe that. But- <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like with this, you have to see. Like, is he a serial sides. rapist, or did he just make a really bad judgment call one night? Yeah, like and let and like get in over his head, and yeah, was it like a crime of like, like it was impulsive and stupid, and it'll never happen again? Like if or you look at like 
He's not. He's not Jeffrey Epstein or Jerry Epstein. Yeah, like if you look at like traditional. So the woman asked. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, in general, like, even like a murderer, man. Like if you murder somebody when you're twenty, like, oh, can you yeah. not be a working part of society? The accuser, the accuser had. Yeah, we read that though, right? Wait, wait, wait hold on. She has sex with someone else in the fifteen hours after the. Election, oh right? shit! The She's lying. No, oh. after the after the rape and before the exam. So this woman tried to say Kobe raped her, and, and then she went, she went and banged Kobe's time. teammate, and then went and got a rape kit done. That, that's what I mean, man. Nah, R.I.P. Kobe. I'm sorry for what I said. There's I got more than there's more yeah. than PCI. Yeah. I got it. So he was charged with one count of felony sexual assault with his wife, Vanessa, by his side. So mm. he admitted, like, if you look at it, he admitted that he cheated on his wife and he made a mistake. But he, he was like, I did not force myself. You know. Damn, man, she stuck around, huh? Yeah. It's so much easier to stick around when they're rich as fuck. Why? You get half if you leave. And then it's your half. Hmm. I don't know, man. Would you rather have control of would you rather have access to all of somebody's money or full control of half of it do you have a wife huh you have a wife um engaged about to does she have access to your money or full control of it <laughs> man i wish she had full control of it i probably wouldn't buy such stupid shit all the time fair 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 <laughs> so damn all right so yeah i mean based on what i just read dude i don't know man her her story's got some holes in it, unfortunately because i hate to be that like and it's like why we gotta why we gotta talk about a dead man like that let it go and I don't, I don't know if I feel like about that, dude. A lot of people are upset that um, that Aaron Hernandez documentary, man. You know the fact that like it, they were talking about his, you know, his uh, fucking um, sexuality. You know, like his, right. what do you call it? Like whether he liked dudes or not, he was gay or not. And people are upset that Netflix brought that up. They're like, oh, he's dead. Why do you gotta tarnish his name? And Especially I'm, when hold you on, never let, let me get guy. this point out, bro. Yeah. I was calling a lot of people out because to me, I'm just like, all right, so we're just learning about his life and who he was. But for some reason, the fact that they brought up him being gay is really a problem to you. Like, you seemed... And the people that were saying this to me, they seemed like closet, like, real real deal closet homophobes. You know, because if I die, yeah. right? If I were to die, and you found out that I'm a murderer, a serial murderer, bro, like, I killed a lot of people, and I was gay... Why would you be upset about the fact that I was gay? <laughs> That's like, a great point. okay, cool. There, I can accept that. But bro, like, you killed mad people. You're kind of a scumbag. But Allegedly. so many people were. Uh, there's no alleged. He killed them, bro. He was proven guilty. Was he not? I mean, he got found innocent on, on one of them. No, he did not, bro. Yes, he did. Look they it up. Ch- they cha- looked that up. They changed the law, no, and then they convicted him. So ready? Yeah. So the first one he got found convicted. Yep. The second one he was found innocent. Who? Which Aaron second Hernandez. one? He was in. There was two trials. He was, yes. He was found innocent in the second one. With the double murder? Yeah. Was he? He was found not guilty. Be, I think you're right. Yeah. My bad. I mean, and then like. Uh, Oh, his, then his original one got acquitted, thrown out, thrown out because he was going back. to appeal. Then Mass was like, nah, that's some bullshit. He was guilty. <laughs> so. You ever, you, so you watched it? I watched it, bro. My thing is. You think he was really? a conspiracy guy that I All am. All right, here right? we go. He, if I were going to frame Aaron Hernandez for murder, I would take a bullet and put it and wrap it in gum that he spit out. That's like the perfect frame. You know what I mean? Like unless either, either wait what either that's not sh- that happened yeah so in the first murder when they were cleaning the rent a car they found a bubblicious shell casing gun with a shell case wrapped up and so that means one of two things in my book either somebody is clearly trying to frame him or Aaron Hernandez is literally the stupidest motherfucker that ever fucking walked the earth wow so you don't think he did it we got a Hernandez supporter here no I'm not a supporter I'm just saying. You have to be fucking stupid. How stupid is it that I'm going to spit my DNA on this shell casing, wrap it, and throw it in the car that's not mine that I'm giving back to another company that's going to search this car for it? I don't know, man. I, I got to start looking down that rabbit hole. That's wild. I mean... So you don't think he did it? No, I, I, actually, it seems like he did it, but I also think that he might be the stupidest... The, the, worst, <laughs> so the worst criminal of all time. 
He's he. Do you know yeah, how why he got caught? Oh, because he just he didn't cover any tracks. He made extra tracks. Do you know what the biggest piece of evidence against him was? Um, his own home camera system. His own security system, yeah. bro. That shit was fucking wild. He's got a gun. Just like hand, he's just in his hand. I couldn't tell that was a gun, to be honest with you. What else do you hold like that? TV clicker, Xbox control, like this, <laughs> like this, thumb up, belt. <laughs> <laughs> I I would like to believe. I would like to believe because he got found innocent the uh, the second time. So, well, on a different right, murder was, charge. What's up? On a different murder charge. Right. So, but there was his whole appeal for the first one was based off him being found innocent. So in his lawyer's eyes, he gets found innocent for the second one. They're going to go back to the first one and relook. Be like, I don't know, man. It seems like there's like some people... Yo, do you think he actually killed himself? Because that's weird, bro. Like how they said he was in such good spirits and like the, his appeal was not in bad shape, right? That is... I, it's things like that that lead me to believe that there's some truth to the gay thing. Because he literally killed himself... Clearly, he was to, hiding it, and then to, to protect hours, his reputation. Yeah, and like yeah. forty-eight hours after they run it on ninety-eight-five, not maybe not even thirty hours after. I don't know. It just seems like uh, wait. Th- did, what do you say? So, I'm sorry. Start over. Hours after. So, running. like a, a, a article, a page came out about Aaron Hernandez having a lover uh, in the prison, like right. a boyfriend, right? And. That was on 98.5, which is like the sports. Obviously, right. They out basically here. outed him. Yeah, right. they outed him, and he's dead maybe like a day and a half later. Yeah, so I, I definitely think that, you know, he was struggling with his fucking sexuality, bro. Yeah. Because he, again, man, a lot of people like to, and I don't even like using the word defend because I don't feel like being gay is something you have to defend. Right. But a lot of people were trying to defend him saying, you know, like, oh, you can't say that he's gay. He's not here to defend himself, which is stupid. You know, like. Why would what does anybody have to gain, you know, from You know the only they reason they talk about this gay sucking thing? his dick or whatever. You know, the only reason that they talk about this gay thing is like it sells. N- that is probably true, but they don't have any motive for any of this stuff. So like this gay thing kind of fits into like a motive like where he was trying to hide this from everybody. So what do you think that he uh like Odin Lloyd was like threatening to out him or was he That's was banging his, him? That was like a I don't know if he was banging him, but I think that he was close enough to him where he could find out, like, he might know what was going down. So he might have knew that Aaron was gay. He Yeah, and then, like, Aaron got worried about it. Maybe he they got into an argument and he used it against him in an argument. I don't know. I'm just speculating, obviously. Yeah, but, obviously. Um, that's the only motive. You know, otherwise you don't know what the motive is, which makes it even crazier. Why he killed his sister-in-law's... Boyfriend. Boyfriend. Like, that's that's deep. And then, like... Hugged was it his day. sister-in-law or his... Oh, yeah, it was his, his girl's sister, his fiance's yeah. sister. Like, that was kind of strange to me. Like, they're both on... At the same trial, one supporting the defendant, the other one is mourning and... You think they're friends now? You think they made up? I don't know. I don't really look it up. Are they? What's her name? Eh. You still with us or not? What was her name? Shania Jenkins? Is that it? Is that real? I think that's her name. Why are you laughing? <laughs> sounds like a... A made-up ghetto name? Not a made-up ghetto name. <laughs> yeah, it sounds does. like it should be on like a syrup or something. <laughs> <laughs> like a pancake yeah. and Jemima syrup. <laughs> so that's Shania oh, Jenkins, shit. dude. <laughs> Shania Jenkins IG. and sister make up. Oh, that real? Yo, that's pretty smart, Aunt. Goes right to the Instagram to see if she's with her sister. I don't know. None of those pics looks like her sister. Well, check it out, though. She's, she's pretty hot, though. She's second kid. Did they? Ha- oh, you know what? She they was pregnant. That. She was they pregnant, have right? Two kids. That's yeah. correct. The daughter's older now. Did I just see her in, like, Aladdin? <laughs> I saw. I thought I saw an Aladdin thing there. Yo, what made me think he was a fucking piece of shit, bro, is when his cousin was in jail with cancer, and, like, he was just allowing that shit to happen, you know, because she was protecting him. Him not just being like, all right, she's about to die in prison. Let me just come clean. That was kind of wild. Yeah. Doesn't really say if they made up. At, yeah. See if. Uh, so, uh, yeah, at this point. Like Shania like, Jenkins made up with sister. I stopped caring about this. 
<laughs> like 10 seconds ago. Yeah. All right. You ready to wrap this shit yeah, up for man. real this time? It's been real. It's been real. Ant's getting antsy over there. And was it a little too long this time? It's first time, bro. <laughs> What's that mean? It was perfect. All right, cool. Yo, thanks for listening, Drew, obviously. It's always fun, bro. Always, um, Tune in, guys. Subscribe to the YouTube. Subscribe to everything. Help us out, man. Uh, peace out.